So this morning, I was supposed to be in my Knightsbridge store uh, doing some filming of me with a bespoke customer, hence me being <coughs> dressed up, but uh, COVID put pay to those plans. So basically, it's back to the factory. Um, I've got to work on some design work today. I've got quite a lot of um, projects on the boil for next 12 months. This particular project is at almost the final stages of development. I've got to finish this collection by tomorrow, otherwise I'm not gonna launch it in time for May because there's so many different elements that have to come together. There's, a, there's somebody making the profile of this hinge, which is gonna be an extruded piece of metal. And I've gotta make enough to make 10,000 hinges. Then we've gotta send that to somebody else to stamp it. And we've gotta send it to somebody else to polish it. And we're gonna send it to somebody else to weld it. Then we will assemble it. I'm looking at different suppliers. At the moment, I'm going for this collection. I'm going mostly for, with Masakelli. If I'm lucky, all of this will have come together by April. I'm panicking a bit because I've got to do it by tomorrow. And I've had over a year with this collection now, maybe a year and a half. There's quite a lot of things that have got to come together in this next 24 hours, if it's going to get there on time. It's a vintage collection and I've got to make sure that you know I'm not doing anything too quirky so even looking at this color here um, it looks it looks nice on the surface but I do worry it's a bit too red it, it kind of looks almost like a toy color and, and, I, and so I've decided not to do it and I'm replacing it with this beautiful Havana here which gradiates down to black it isn't really vintage that, you know, you won't see there's any real, real vintage collections because the technique's quite special, but nevertheless, uh, it, I think it fits in with the, the overall feel that I'm after. I don't like copying other brands, but the person that designed this has been dead a long time because it's a very old design and it's something that you'd have seen on a tortoise shell frame. And I've never seen it before, but I saw it in a book. I thought, I've got to have this. I've got to have this in the collection. In fact, I'll tell you where I saw this. I saw this in the British Spectacle Museum. I've got some ladies colors, and these again, they're not vintage in any way. You won't have seen a three color extrusion acetate like this. It's a vintage collection, but it's, I'm not trying to make like old glasses. These are beautiful frames, which have a slightly modern twist to them. I'm now thinking, can I put them in? I just need a little bit of color. I just gotta lift it a little bit. Otherwise, if I use, use only sort of these vintage Demi colours, I worry it might just look a bit too old fashioned. And then finally, finally, because I've laid all the drawings out of the collection, I'm starting to now look again at the shapes. I'm just thinking, oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too wingy on this cat eye, or I've got another one here, which I, I want to want a little bit more winginess to it. I want to raise that brow line up to be a little bit more like a um, 1950s uh, ladies frame. You know, bespoke is at the heart of my Tom Davis range. This isn't a bespoke range. I'm aggregating in my head all the data of fit that I've learned over the last 18 years of doing bespoke glasses. And I, I, I think I've got a feeling for how noses should fit and the types of noses, the sort of person that's wearing that frame and how they're wearing it. I have a feeling for that and I'm trying to get that through into here. So that even though this isn't bespoke, when you put on an MD frame, it just fits. This is me being an eyewear designer with all my experience and trying to roll it into this brand new collection. Yeah, and I'm getting nervous because I've, I've got to send it off to production tomorrow. Uh, have I got it right? So just overlooking the last few details um, and last few considerations 